All right, my friends, we are going to be making the tree trunks to our trees now. You're going to need four trunks all together. You're going to need two short trunks and two long trunks. Okay, so what we're gonna do is start by putting some patterns in our trunks, just like the truffula trees that have those stripes in them. You're going to be using Sharpies at your table, all right? So when we use these, we have to have a placemat under the table or under the um, tree trunks so that way we don't get any marker on the table. So you're gonna think about a pattern you wanna make with either lines or shape. Two patterns, okay? So I maybe here I want it, and you can change your colors, um, but I'm just gonna stick with one color for this one. I'm gonna do a wiggly and straight line pattern. Okay, so there's that tree, and you can make your other tree the same or come up with a new pattern combination. I'm gonna just keep right, mine. Set my tall trunks aside. I'm going to now do another pattern. Maybe this time I'll switch my colors. So I'm gonna pull two colors to the side. And I guess I'm gonna do maybe some shapes in this one. So maybe I'll do polka dots and then a straight vertical line. So again, you don't have to do the same thing for your um, tree trunks. It can all be a different pattern, but I like to have some of them be the same to create repetition. We're now going to glue them onto our paper with a glue stick, okay? So I'm gonna set the paper away and I'm gonna start with the um, trees that are closer to us and things that are closer to us appear larger. So this first set of trees, which are your long tree trunks, are going to touch the bottom of your paper because if we're looking at the paper here, the part on the bottom is the part that's the closest to the viewer. So anything that's bigger needs to be closer. So I'm just going to set this aside and get a nice long layer, one long layer of glue on there. Get it good, because these won't stick otherwise. And I'm gonna place this right here so that the bottom of that tree trunk is touching the bottom of the paper. I'm now gonna do the same thing with this guy, and it's really up to you, but you wanna create the space in your artwork to spread around. So I might move this one more towards this side of the paper. And again, that tall tree, the bottom of it needs to be at the bottom of the paper. With our short trees, we're gonna come up to the second mountain line because as we go up the paper, the eye makes it feel like to create space. As we go up the paper, things should get smaller. So again, to create space, as we go up the paper, things get smaller and shorter. So this guy, Instead of starting him at the bottom, I wanna make him look like he's farther away. I'm gonna start him on the second mountain line. Okay, my friends, so that's looking good. I've got my two front trees, the tall front trees in the very front and the bottom of them's on the bottom of my paper. And then I have the shorter trees that look like they're getting smaller in the distance are on that second line. So that, that mountain line here at the very top of that mountain. Next time we'll have more trees that will touch this part of the mountain.